along with historic and natural interpretation, safety interpretation, provides understanding and appreciation of the hazards and dangers. Safety interpretation provides an important niche in the risk management and safety fields. Consider the typical warning sign. They warn, but don't explain why. Danger, treacherous water, death, or severe bodily injury is likely. No swimming, wading, or trespassing. Why is the water treacherous? What is the hazard? Danger, beach closed. No swimming, wading, or trespassing. What is the danger and why is the beach closed? In contrast, avoiding the strainer sign is interpretive. Water passes through the strainer, you don't. It explains what a strainer is and why they are dangerous. For me, I first realized the importance of safety interpretation with the Potomac River study. The study investigated the river's fatalities, its hydrology, and user attitudes and behaviors. Based on its research findings, the study developed the drowning trap. The study's findings are directly reflected in the interpretive signage recommended. By telling the story, the science interpretive messaging can provide understanding, appreciation, and accident prevention. Last, it explains what you can do to protect yourself. The sign tells the drowning trap story. When the river is between two and six feet on the river gauge, the river becomes swifter and more powerful. Eight out of 10 fatalities occur at moderate high water levels. The drowning trap is composed of three components, depth, velocity, and deceptiveness. The river is deceptive since it is still in its primary banks and not flooding. Deceptiveness leads to a lack of understanding and appreciation of the danger by the public. The interpretive sign explains the river gauge reading. It explains why the river becomes more dangerous as its depth increases. Its velocity and power also increases. Also, it explains the shore to channel river currents. Last, the interpretive sign indicates what to do. Wear your life jacket and be aware of the increased dangers. In summary, the interpretive sign tells the drowning trap story. It increases user understanding and appreciation. Increased understanding and appreciation leads to increased safety. Since most of the Maryland boating ramps were along the CNO Canal, managed by the National Park Service, the interpretive sign was designed to be consistent with the National Park Service standards. In addition, the National Park Service had interpretive signs of their own. One of these signs indicates the dangers of the Gorge area in the Great Falls area. The sign interprets the dangers of the Potomac River. Topics include fast water, rising water, slippery rocks, falling in the river, drowning in fast water, surviving in fast water, life jackets may not help, and killer hydraulics. It explains the dangers and what to do when encountering a hazard. Barrier analysis places barriers between the source of unwanted energy flows and the target. Barriers are less than adequate, meaning that no barrier is perfect in preventing an unwanted energy transfer to the target. Often, barriers are divided into hard or physical barriers, such as guardrails, and soft or administrative barriers, such as policies and procedures. Interpretive messaging is considered a soft barrier that protects the target. Educational triage indicates situations where interpretive messaging is effective. Conceptualized by this author, educational triage divides users into three groups based on their acceptance of the message and its potential to change their behavior. In the first group are those people who are aware of what they should be doing to act safely, and they attempt to act safely. Interpretation reinforces their safe behavior. In the second group are those people who are acting incorrectly and are unaware that they are. If given the proper interpretive message, they will change your behavior and attempt to act correctly. 
interpretation is a useful tool with this group. The third group is acting improperly, and if given the appropriate interpretive message, they won't change their behavior. Law enforcement is an appropriate measure for this group. However, the interpretive message reinforces and sets the tone for law enforcement efforts working with this group. The use of interpretation as a tool in barrier analysis reemerged when I was creating educational case studies on YouTube based on several legal cases that I worked on. The first was the Merrimack River incident. On July 9, 2006, five inner city youths drowned in a drop off in the Merrimack River in Castlewood State Park near St. Louis, Missouri. In discussing the use of barrier analysis, I realized that if I were a consultant making recommendations to the park, I would recommend an interpretive sign at the entrance to the beach area, coupled with buoys separating the drop-off from the beach area. The interpretive sign explains the hazard and the reason for the placement of the no-swimming buoys in the river. In addition, rangers who periodically monitor the beach area can reinforce the interpretive messaging on the entrance sign. The barriers complement each other. The interpretation sign tells the story of a river hazard and the importance of the safety buoys. The second educational case study was the Ford Dam incident. On May 21, 2011, two fatalities occurred behind the Ford Dam on Hubble Pond near the village of Milford, Michigan. One fatality was a canoeist who wanted to paddle up the backwash and touch the backside of the dam. The second fatality was a bystander who attempted a rescue, even though he knew the dangers associated with hydraulics behind dams. The village and owner of the dam had placed physical barriers and warning signs above the dam to prevent canoeists from going over the dam. They had fences and warning signs bordering the dam. Unfortunately, they had removed the physical barriers across the backwash. There were plenty of warning signs but what was the actual danger? The question is, why did the canoeists ignore the warning signs and attempt to touch the backside of the dam? An interpretive sign next to the Portage Trail interpreting the drowning machine and the dangers of low head dams would have helped explain the hazard, which may not be obvious to most people. It complements the other barriers taken surrounding the dam, such as fences, cables, and warning signs. It tells the story. Low head dams are killers, and this is why. In summary, interpretive messaging is a less than adequate barrier that is very effective when used in conjunction with other barriers. For those who are unaware of the dangers present, there is a need to educate and provide an appreciation of the hazards. The interpretive message tells the story and why the danger is dangerous. For those who already appreciate the danger, interpretive messaging reinforces their already safe behavior. There is still a need for law enforcement for those who don't embrace the interpretive message. It is part of telling the story. Safety interpretation fills an important niche in the risk management and safety fields. Barrier analysis provides the important conceptual link. The following saying is modified slightly. Through interpretation, understanding. Through understanding, appreciation. Through appreciation, safety.